What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a fire effect on Sony Vegas Pro 12 or 13. So, I'll show you the effects that we're going to be making today. Flash up the Cody boys! So it looks pretty good, obviously it's not at it's best because we are using Sony Vegas not After Effects or Premiere Pro, so we won't have the best effect but it still looks good. So I'm going to recreate what I have just done for you. So I'm going to drag my video into Vegas, you'll need fire, obviously like this, and you'll need an explosion. So the way we just go get the fire. Make sure you type in fire PNG, PNG is the important part because that removes the background. And this is the one I'm using, it will be in the description if you want to use this as well. So then once you find your image just right click it and click save image as and then just save it where you want. So for the explosion what you do is just type in explosion sound effect in YouTube, they're all free to use. And the one that I'm using is this one right here, 15 seconds. This will also be linked in the description but a direct download instead. And then the way you download from here, just copy the URL, go to this website which will also be in the description, and then paste the URL from YouTube right here, click convert video straight away, click download, and then just save it wherever you want to. So now you have all that, you want to find out where you want to make this stuff happen. So just go through your video. Okay, so I found out where I want the explosions to happen, and this video was actually created about three months ago, so I've already got an explosion in there, right there you can see. So what I'm going to do is lay a marker there, so press M on your keyboard to lay markers, and that's where I want the second explosion to happen. Now the first explosion I want to happen right at the start. So now, right click here, and click insert new video. Go ahead and drag your fire in. We'll worry about the explosion later on. So this is what it's going to look like, and let's say we want the explosion for one second, so it'll come flying across the screen. So once it is in, just press the event pattern crop here. So it's going to start off screen, so we're going to drag it off to the side like that. And now, when we get about here, to the end of it, we want it to come in. So make it go all the way across like that we'll make it cover the screen a bit more as well so it makes it look more realistic like that and then if we play that part back you can tell it didn't really you can tell it doesn't look really that good yet because we haven't put the explosion in so I'll save the explosion right there now again we need to insert another audio track, here's the explosion sound effect that we just downloaded, going to drag it in right there, now go to right where it started, which is right there, and now, that is a pretty loud explosion, so just split it there, fade it out a bit, put the gain down, So that looks good so far. Now we got to add the second part. So the fire is coming back again. So this in this one it came from the right hand side. So in this one we'll make it come from the left hand side. So go to here, press the event pattern crop again. Go to the left this time. So once you're all the way up on the left, what you want to do? Go to how long you want the explosion to go on for. Well, this one's already got an explosion sound effect, so we'll go by how long this is on for. So that's how long it is. Split the clip, press delete. Now, go to the end of this clip, go right like that, and we're just going to drag this across like this, and then we're going to zoom it in as well so it makes it look like it's taking up the entire screen and we're going to make it go across we're going to make it a bit bigger there we go 
make it go across like that. So now, let's just go ahead and watch it. So yeah, that is how you do a fire effect on Sony Vegas Pro 12 or 13. It could actually work on 11 as well for those on 32-bit, so you can give it a try as well. And yeah, it is pretty simple. It doesn't look the best, but it does look good, as you can tell. Mine might not look that good because I did rush it because I don't want the tutorial going on so long. It would look better if you do this in After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro because they do have the presets ready for you. And yeah, I've got a Fireball video coming soon. Show you how to make a Fireball, which is pretty good, and it does look good in Sony Vegas Pro 12 and 13, and possibly 11. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page because I do post technology and gaming news on there daily, not just one time a day, but several times a day. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel, I try to upload daily on that, and gaming on PC is starting very soon. And yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, hope you like this video, please subscribe, rate, and peace.